often, very often for research purposes in Europe. Uh, since maybe more than 15 years, one of the major questions I was asked in conferences, colloquium, or one-to-one -one was at one point uh, if we are applying Islamic law in Turkey or not. Now, as you all know, or should know, <laughs> in Turkey since 1926, that means now over 80 years, we don't have any Islamic law applied. We have secular laws which were at that time, at that period, adopted from different European countries, be it Germany, Switzerland, Italy. They were translations, in fact, most of the time. But still, even though I reiterate the uh, fact that we have a secular law, it was at one point again the question, but do maybe the courts apply still Islamic law? So there isn't any confidence in the Turkish legal system or the courts that they would really stick to secular law and they would never apply any Islamic rules. I can reassure you, even in courts, never there was an Islamic law rule applied until today in Turkey. But I think that shows also, as I said, a failure of us. That means that we, as the Turkish population, especially as the lawyers, the scientists, were not able to convey this image of Turkey that we have secular law, that we have European law, that we are since more than 10 years really trying to adopt the acquis communautaire of the European Union, that is obviously our failure. A second example, the last example, it was uh, I think sometime in 2004 and that shows more the side of the prejudices I would say. Uh, I was again in Germany at that time and looking at the prime time news uh, from a German important television channel. At that time there was a debate in the Turkish parliament about the <coughs> criminal code, the new criminal code which should be introduced at that time. And there was a debate about adultery, whether or not adultery should be a crime or not. It was in the previous Turkish criminal code, it was a crime, and there was a question if should it should be introduced again in the new criminal code. Now, this question obviously was in the news in Germany, like here we see the influence of Islamic law, mm -hmm. and obviously Turkey is trying to introduce this crime for adultery just because of, of its roots in Islam. Now, what wasn't said, and what I think uh, uh, obviously every reporter in a channel like this should know, is that up until the 1980s, every European criminal code had a clause regarding adultery in their codes. Why that? Because it's Roman Catholic law, as it is also Islamic law. Meanwhile, up from the 1980s, these provisions were selected from these codes, and Turkey was still debating it in the 21st century. Obviously, this is problematic. We, at the end, did not introduce it. That's also fine. But why Turkey had it in its previous code is again for the same reason. Because we had translated the Italian criminal code in 1926. So it was Italian in origin. And I think this is really somehow also showing these prejudices regarding Islam and Islamic law from a lawyer's perspective. We all had the same origins and one should see that it is not just them or us, but all of us which are encountered with the same problems. But with these words, I would like to also give the floor already to my...